Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of our new web series called Siscaletta and Eberdetta. You told me who they were. I was singing Katy Perry in the shower this morning, and I don't remember. Roar? I was thinking about they are. Well, why were you singing during my explanation? It's like the female equivalent of the two most famous movie critics of all time. I'm Lauren. And I'm Paige. And on this show, we'll be reviewing movies and letting you know if you should go see them or not. So, the first movie that we both went to go see was... <laughs> the Great Gatsby! Oh, I went to see it on a date with this really cute boy. Thank you for sharing that completely unnecessary piece of information, Paige. And I went to see it alone. But that's okay. Because you are so brave to go and see a movie all by yourself. You are making me look pathetic, Paige. No, I'm not, Lauren. I'm saying I respect your independence. Everybody respects independence. Think of the 4th of July. Back, back to the movie. I personally love Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, who doesn't? I think he's maybe the most charismatic actor in all of Hollywood. You know, I would agree, except Bradley Cooper really gives him a run for his money. In fact, the boy I went to see the movie with looks just like Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Well, the guy that I went to see the movie with looks just like the guy from The Sixth Sense. <laughs> Get it? Okay, back, back to, to the my movie. Date. Movie. Why don't you just tell us about your movie. date? Date? Okay. <laughs> so we sat down and he put his hand on my thigh. It was so hot that I actually didn't watch the movie part. But You didn't watch the movie part, Paige? You were going to be so good on the show. No. So after the date, we went to dinner at the Smith. That and so something was so weird about the date. Well, since I saw him last, he started this business and has made a ton of money. Oh, I hate when that happens. But it's so weird because he throws all these parties with tons of people for me. Like, he designs them with me in mind. What? Are you kidding? It's so weird. Paige, that's basically the plot of The Great Gatsby. <laughs> I can't make this up. Okay, so uh, he had a few drinks with dinner, and um, I decided to drive us home. Let me guess. Did you hit someone with your car too, Paige? Did I tell you that? Because no, we didn't hit her. We barely tapped her as we were pulling out of the parking space at a very high speed. She was fine, just, you know, not moving. But uh, my date insisted that we switch spots so that when the cops came, I wouldn't get into trouble. Well, did you have a good time on this date, Paige? Yes, I, I did. It was a little too much at points, and, you know, I... Even felt like I was in that one movie with Nicole Kidman and the round um, windmill. Lerman's Moulin Rouge. You are so good. Would you maybe recommend that someone else go on a similar date? I would give the date a solid four out of five. There you have it. We didn't review the movie, but we weirdly they kind of did. And now back to the movie. Uh, tune in next time when we review <laughs> Gravity. Gravity. What is wrong with you? See you next week. <sighs> Take a bite.